Howdy, howdy, boys and girls, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Arceus. You get out of my face, Mr. Mike. What are you doing? There we go. <laughs> it wasn't moving. Um, so, I just realized I can actually send out multiple of my Pokemon. <laughs> and they can all have, like, a little powwow going on over here. Let's Why is that adorable? Like, I can just... Hold on, we're gonna... <laughs> the gang's all here. Yeah, I didn't leave anybody out. I don't know why I thought it did for a second. Oh, Jesus Christ, Gar Gyarados is huge. Why is this adorable? I love this. <laughs> well, anyway. I just thought that was cool, so we're gonna we're gonna get back on track. So of course off screen I kinda went until I got my newest star. So now I'm a five star person. So we're gonna try and go to the new area. I forgot what the new area was called. I was trying to remember, but I guess I can't remember. Your progress for uh, judge worthiness, thank you. Don't care that much. Hmm, you've made progress, seems you have earned yourself a star. Okay, <laughs> halfway there, but I already feel like I'm at the last area, so what's the incentive to keep going? With this, you officially attain the rank of 5th star on the Galaxy Expedition team. Yeah, okay, so it is a better version of the Feather Ball. That's what I was wondering about, that's why I didn't make any of them. Pokemon up to level 65. It's kind of a weird jump, but I'll take it. Uh, the re rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have this as well, it is a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Okay, so yeah, it's the same. It's exactly what we thought it was going to be. Continue to decide yourself a complete impotent, blah, blah, blah. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. That's where we're going. You know your orders. See your mission through. There we go. How much money do I got? Where do I see? There we go. 9,000. You take 10,000, don't you? If I remember correctly. Nope. So I can do this one more time before I head out. Dude, this... I blow through money in this game like no other Pokemon game ever. That's not true in the slightest. <laughs> I just like the second I said that, I'm like... Nah, I remember grinding out millions for a Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> that, that was... That was some money. That was some money. They were robbing you left and right. What are you guys doing over there? I don't want to deal with you. Hold on. Let's go to the general store, see if I can, like, sell something. If I have, like, Stardust or whatever. Oh, actually, I might want to keep my Stardust, because I think I can turn them into star pieces now. I got mints from my farm, of course. Uh, I don't see any here. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, I guess I, I don't have any anyway, so I guess it don't matter. All right, Ray. See so what you and Leventon have to say. Also, this might be a short episode because I'm pretty tired and it's pretty late, so I don't even know how it'll go on on time. I'm thinking about 30 minutes. I just need to go to sleep. <laughs> I was at work at 4 this morning and I got out late, so. So, we're to make for the Alabaster Icelands. That's right. See, she's kind of cute with little glasses now. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalug out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Av Avalug's are as huge and strong as they say, there's a good chance he could start an avalanche. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we end, if we send Marina out there, we'll be putting her in danger of real harm. But people say the frenzies make the noble suffer, right? So wouldn't it be kindness for us to quell the Lord? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokémon. We don't even know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer. 
Nor do we know why they entered these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles? Indeed, from serving, surveying any of the Pokémon of this land. What is it he hopes to achieve? You're the professor. You should have your own goals. Screw what the commander wants. Do your own shit. A way to coexist, I hope. I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor? Why is he talking about this now? What, what are we going to find out? Ah, ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Marina? Then we will support you in it. How about I offer you my support by giving you another shot at honing your battle skills? I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Don't even try it. Yeah, but I'm still glad to get to battle you. I owe you a lot, you know. If you hadn't tumbled down on us, I might have never learned to battle alongside Pikachu. Is it not a Raichu now? This is probably like the last time we'll really be able to battle. Mr. Mind's a fairy type now, isn't he? Because if he's just psychic, I'm screwed here. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Knew that. Killed. Alright, what we got next, Ray? That's not much better. Okay, I didn't even use the flying type move. Excuse you. Your Staravia is fast enough to attack three times in a row. That's just rude. That's not even fair. Like, my Sneasel actually needed those levels. <laughs> I'll just be normal so he can't attack me too many times if it doesn't kill. Yeah, okay, it does kill anyway. And then this is perfect, so we already know his last Pokemon. Hey, bud. Nope. Ah, that'll hurt, though. I was hoping he wouldn't have Iron Tail. <laughs> Almost all Pikachus do, so, so I should have kind of expected that. I don't really have a hard counter for this, so... You're going to your partner, I'm going to my partner. Really hope it burns. Oh, or not. I forgot again. Pikachu's an absolute dish towel. He gets murdered so easily. The way you battle makes fighting alongside Pokemon look like the most natural thing. It, it very much is. I have done it for years. <laughs> Good luck on your mission in the Icelands. It sounds like it'll be a perilous one, dealing with a huge Pokemon like Avalug. He's the first rival not to throw, like, an utter hissy fit about losing. Or at least get all depressed or something. That's kind of cool. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forth forthwith. See you there, my girl. I forgot he was talking for a second. Okay, I really need to level up my Pokemon, because I've got Gyarados over here at 56, and everyone else just kind of a disappointment. Speaking of which... I didn't mean it like that, <laughs> speaking of which. Uh, but no, um, we have the other Sneasel in here. If it has a good nature, like even halfway decent, because I know the one I have in my party isn't great either. Uh, I might just switch them out. 54 and 55. Why? Wait. Okay, for a second there, it sounded like they were different. I, I don't know what the heck's wrong with me. We're definitely not having an attack down one, and we're definitely not having a speed down one, so those both suck. Like, attack and speed are the only two things Sneasel needs, so that's very dumb. This one's at least standard, but it's level 44. I don't even know why I bother checking. Okay, yeah, I guess this is the best Sneasel we can get. Let's 
put away the mints too, I almost forgot. I'm just trying to see what we get. Okay. I mean, we, it's at least good we got the one good mint. The others kind of suck, but you know, who cares? It don't go. Ah! Anyway. <laughs> I, I very much enjoy this game. I didn't think I'd enjoy this as much as I do. Because, again, there's graphic issues, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, all in all, it's, it's, it's a fun play. <sighs> are, are, isn't those the same ruins we saw at the top of the mountain? Or at least similar ones. You don't look very happy. I don't. You're giving me very like weird vibes, my sir. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound. In any case, very few ventured to these alabaster Icelands, apart from Tao Hua, leading the odd supply course excursion to gather materials. What do you mean the odd supply course? What? But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalug will be on another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irida and Adamant to try and keep yourself safe. Are they both here? Oh, I don't want to deal with both of them. God damn it! <laughs> they immediately show up right after I say that. How oh, aren't you freezing? <laughs> freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. <laughs> that is the most long-winded way of saying just, I just don't like you. <laughs> we'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not Almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher. He's only ever found in one place. Which is? You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalok's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder? Okay, Irida, every time you talk to him, I want to punch you in the mouth. I know you can be nicer than this. Where else indeed? Ready to go, Marina? Absolutely ignored. Sure, stop off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing by them by. So you at Avalok's legacy, Marina. Take care in your way. This is like a three-party stalemate where the third party is just somebody they both enjoy. Like we're not even stronger than the other clans. It's well, I mean, I am alone, but like the Survey Corps itself technically isn't any better. So we can make eighty-four of these. Boy, am I glad I saved up. Okay. Um. I don't know how expensive Ultra Balls are going to be, so I'm not making any of that. Yeah, I know low battery. I'm I'm sorry. Okay. I'll switch it out when that time comes. Uh, yeah, I don't need to talk to you. Snow Runt! I hate Snow Runt. I hate Glalie. But I love Frostless. Perfect time to turn around. <laughs> hey! I mean, Ice type Pokemon in general are absolutely amazing. Again, I said in general. In other words, there are some absolutely garbage ice type Pokemon, but like. That's not who I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, no, Apom's already at. Full research. Sheesh. Oh my god, that is a drop. Is that a snow run? That's a snow run. I mean. <laughs> if there was any way to. Uh, trick the system into thinking you could get here before the last area. This entire ravine just immediately stops anybody who can't 
go through. Because you need Sneasler in the last area. Hi, dog. Did I get a Stardust? Did I literally get what I was needing earlier? Okay. I kind of want to check out this cave, but also... This isn't where it's telling me to go. I missed. I apologize. Don't turn around. <sighs> Which way should I go? Cave is probably more fun. Let's go cave. Crevasse Passage. Ooh, I like the sounds in the cave, too. Like, it's just, just kind of creep, creepy. Is that a Bergamite? Make my own Avalug. See, Bergamite's one of those things where it's like... <laughs> it's very easy to forget, because you always see Avalug, but you never see a Bergamite in the traditional games. I thought the ground was changing there for a second. It is! Like, as I'm running, it's, like, slowly warping around my feet. That's weird. I think it's just a graphical error, but, like, that's... Yeah, dope and terrifying at the same time. Did I literally come in here just for some Bergmite? Like, I mean, it's something. Not exactly what I expected, though. I definitely need more snow runs. So let's get this little guy. Level 40. Can evolve. That is what I have been waiting for. You have been the weakest link of my team. Make sure I can catch this guy first. Okay, good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I just need Sneasel to evolve. Rhyhorn. To... Does Rhyhorn need something for Rhydon? I thought it just needed something for Rhyperior. I mean, it's level 40 already. That's kind of concerning. Gumi evolved into Sligu. I've already seen this one. I haven't seen the next one, though. It makes me kind of wonder where it got the shell, though, because, like... Uh, okay. Wait, no. That's, this isn't how I change moves. I was about to... Here, this is how I change moves. I, I always forget... There we go, so I get Sludge Bomb now, which is amazing. Uh, special Attack Shelter. Your user makes its skin hard as an Iron Shield, raising its defensive stats. Incoming moves also become more likely to miss. Ooh, I can definitely get behind that. Like, I mean, if it was just like a... Iron Defense, I mean, I don't really care, but like... That actually sounds decent. Oh, it's Steel and Dragon now. Oh, that's... See, I don't know how well that'll be together. Because I can't... I mean, a Duraletta is kind of not great. That's the only thing I can really compare it to. Hi. <laughs> what? What? Did you see that? I hit him square in the face with a wing ball, and it just went off into space. Kind of small. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I want the swine up. Give me the swine up. Ooh. Okay, so it doesn't go any farther. It's just. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, nope. Ah, he saw me. I'll take a swine up. Oh my god. What? Okay, that one makes sense. Stop watching me. <laughs> Got that one. Get in the ball. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm just catching up a storm over here. We got everything. There we go. Oh, hey. Hey, friend. Why? <laughs> Why can't I hit these? Is that a snover? I could go with the snover. That's an Obama snow. We ain't dealing with that. Uh-uh, not today. Snover. Please turn around. Snover. Smack. <laughs> Ooh, I'm actually getting covered in snow. That's cool. Attention to detail is nice. I like it. Shut up, Aunt Palm. Free wood. Alright. Enough of that stuff. 19 West Spring. This area. I don't care, Mr. Ampa Palm. I got some of the uh, Pokemon in this area. I'm content with just zooming towards the end now. Except for this Bergmite, because I haven't caught that many of those. Get in the ball. Oh, you actually fight. I thought you'd be a coward. Hold on. Hold on, at least catch this one, please. Yes, good, okay. Looks like who can do that and Dude! It's cold out here. What are you doing without a shirt? To be fair, that's me. I actually really, really, really like the snow. Well, that was a real slog, fighting through those miserably icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. <laughs> this gentleman is Avalog's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. So show some respect, Edaman. Dude's a chief of his own village. He doesn't have to respect any of y'all. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's Wardens. And you must be Marina, right? Of the Galaxy Team? Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? I was commanded to. He's in a frenzy! I don't want to say I'm commanded to anything. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? I mean, there's more than these options, but okay. Could trouble others. And I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy? Why I am here. Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalog, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. <laughs> I get it, because it's cold. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. Aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear with such colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's currently some logic to that. But if that is what you hope to accomplish, then you, we must judge whether this child is up to the task. I have done this five times before. I will kick you in the face and do it myself if I have to. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. <laughs> Let's not... <laughs> I love how all these people actually think they're strong enough to be a trial, though. What are you doing? <laughs> My musculature is hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? Aggressive, my dude. <sighs> of course I started with the... Actually! Hold on, we're going to fix the camera once, because I just literally looked at it and it... It's focus decided to kill itself. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. Wait, I have to fight both? I, I wasn't looking at the screen. What I was getting excited about is technically because he's now steel and dragon, he's no longer weak to ice types. And of course, because he's dragon, he's no longer weak to fire types. And because he's steel, he's no longer weak to fairy types. This combination, dude, I if as long as I don't get with like a ground type, or just that. I think that's it. Fighting type. Ground or fighting? The only things that really will do anything. 
Those are very physically heavy, so if he has a high defense, that's that's amazing. Um, I need this frost last to die. Ah, it's a very weak frost last. <laughs> Yeah, but see, that's what I'm talking about. Glalie is pretty fast, but it doesn't hit strong enough to justify being that fast. And it's pretty fragile. So it's not like it's meant to take many hits and deal many hits. It just dies too fast. But Frostless is fast, hits like a truck, and then is squishy because you gotta have something that's wrong with your Pokemon. Or else then it's not a balanced game. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, which you smashed me through and through. Kinky. I suppose you all can get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Marina, but I'll vouch for her. Then if you insist on quelling Avalug's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to the Lord's seat. Good luck. God, we're already going it. Okay. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need Braviary. Long story short... You've got to seek out a young lady named Tubby. They're just cutting, like, straight to the point in this area. I'm loving it, but, like, it's very, like, juxtaposed to what they've done the rest of this game. <laughs> Tell the long story long. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalug one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to be to do the talking. <laughs> But fine, listen up. This Eternal Ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with Brave Aerie's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy, I'll have you know. He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might makes right, or at least height. <laughs> Dude's a, just a beast at this point. And uh, about Sabi, how do I put this? Even though when she's not flying with Brave Aerie, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand what you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Savvy! <laughs> she just could be flying around. Aw. What is it with its eyes? Wait a minute. That's kind of creepy looking. I like it. My Claire Rowan's told me that I led you on a chase. What? Why would you lead me on a chase? Think you can reach me? What are you talking about? Do I have to chase her now? See what you meant about Savvy. But why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Savvy. And let me focus on my workout while I still can. Can you stop doing squats for five seconds? You're weird. It's cold out. Go home. Speak with Savvy of the Diamond Clan. Berg, Mike! <laughs> Just smack him real quick. I'll grab this rock salt first. I'll be right up with you. Or crunchy salt. Sounds a lot more appetizing. And yeet. Did that make it? Yes, it did. Oops, gotta go around. There we go. What you doing, child? I'll revive my sligu so I can actually get experience from whatever the hell's about to go down. I know. Stop telling me. Itchy nose. Hello, my name's Sabby. She's kind of adorable. <laughs> nice to meet you, Marina. Same to you. I heard about you. You're super talented, right? Bet you're going to be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so you can call Avalug's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. They're not going to actually give me a Pokemon that can fly, are they? Like, it's probably just going to be able to glide or something, right? Let's go, Braviary! So is it ice and flying now? Because, like, that doesn't explain the head thingy. Celebrating Lord of the Tundra. Catch up to Savi. Okay. You going to explain where she just went? Oh, I'm getting cold. It's adorable. <laughs> Okay, do I have to go to the objective marker? That's 300 meters away. What do you What do you want from me, game? 
Nah, I guess that's not too bad. Grab this while we're here, though. Thought I saw a Pokemon over here, but I can't see Pokemon while I'm collecting Wisps. Is it just be barrels? Yeah. Oh, well. Whee. Just to make sure, this is saying that she's over here, right? Yeah. Let's see, can I get up here? Yes. Hey, Glalie. 17 wisps remaining in this area. Because, yes, I am definitely trying to... Okay, just climb the stupid thing. Thank you. A soot foot root. Leave me alone! <laughs> What's in here? Snowballs? Why do I need snowballs? A hardball made of compressed snow. Hitting a Pokemon with one may stun the Pokemon, creating an opening for you to act. Why would I need to stun the Pokemon? Is that a Baneary? I didn't max out Baneary, did I? No, it's only level 3. Get the bell! If it fails, I don't care. Okay, good. Uh... Okay, there we go. I was kind of expecting you to change into Sneasler there, but I guess Stantler's just like, I can climb too. Hop, 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 hop. Are you going to show me how Braviary works? Is that why we have to go to this high cliff? Hey, friend. Sabi. Marina! <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my god, I love her. You made it all the way up here in this cold? The question is, did you catch me, or did I let myself get caught? Hmm, well, you were just kind of standing here for five minutes, so. Her eyes are weird, though. It's got, like, a blue light in them. That's weird. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? You might be. I don't know, man. Showed up at a very opportune moment. Hmm, no one me could really know, huh? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop is our Mary Chase's Snow Point Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm. Let's go, Braviary! Oh, you look like you're having the time of your life. This is great. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, you could have just, like, started with that. Nope. Jump off. There we go. Why do I feel like this is about to fall? Wee, wee, wee. Why didn't you grab there? <laughs> oh, go there. We go. Okay. Frostless. That's kind of neat where you can just find Glalie or Frostless in this area. Usually you have to just kind of keep catching Snow Run. Until you just happen to get both a male and female ones. Because that's what I always do. I, Whenever I have to collect a specific Pokemon, like a large Weasel or a female something or other or whatever, I always find the opposite. And it takes me like hours to find the one I'm actually looking for. You know what I mean? Like, just my luck. Like, it'll be perfectly normal stats and chances to get either of them. Oh, I have to actually get off Sneasel's back. I'm getting a lot more iron chunks now than I did before. Okay, the symbol's right here. You can get around so fast now with the Stupid noble Pokemon's helping. It's great. I feel like Braviar is going to be probably one of the more useless ones, though. Like, don't get me wrong. Again, flying around would be absolutely fun, but, like... I doubt I'll actually be flying anywhere. What is this? 
Why are we up here? Hi again, Marina. Hello, Sabi. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. I've always wanted a daughter, so I'm up here. I'm, I'm not being weird and creepy about it. I just like... I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, here's Snow Point Temple. I've opened up the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left more for you to do. This is kind of creepy. Why am I chasing you into a dark building? But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm? Are we even playing? You look like you're actually like sh trying to drag me somewhere. I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern on their chest, too. This is a Reggie area, isn't it? I mean, that's what the original Snowpoint Temple was anyway, but that's all for this episode. Again, like I said, I'm only making it 30 minutes because I'm tired. I apologize. I will... I'm getting pretty close to the end, though, so... Maybe two, three more episodes. But thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to the like button. Just wonders for the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comments section down below. I will respond to all of them as long as I'm a small channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can see more videos like this when they come out. Thank you again so much for watching. See you all in the next video I record, alright? Peace.